Galileo di Vincenzo Bonaiuti de Galilei was an Italian astronomer, physicist, and engineer, sometimes described as a polymath, commonly referred to as Galileo. He was born in the city of Pisa, then part of the Duchy of Florence. His contributions to observational astronomy include telescopic confirmation of the phases of Venus, observation of the four largest satellites of Jupiter, observation of Saturn's rings, and analysis of lunar craters and sunspots. Galileo has been called the father of observational astronomy, modern era classical physics, the scientific method, and modern science. Galileo studied speed and velocity, gravity and free fall, the principle of relativity, inertia, projectile motion, and also worked in applied science and technology, describing the properties of pendulums and hydrostatic balances. He invented the thermoscope and various military compasses, and used the telescope for scientific observations of celestial objects. And here are some of his remarkable thoughts. I have never met a man so ignorant that I couldn't learn something from him. You cannot teach a man anything. You can only help him find it within himself. In questions of science, the authority of a thousand is not worth the humble reasoning of a single individual. All truths are easy to understand once they are discovered. The point is to discover them. Passion is the genesis of genius. There are those who reason well, but they are greatly outnumbered by those who reason badly. Measure what can be measured, and make measurable what cannot be measured. Mathematics is the language in which God has written the universe. It is surely harmful to souls to make it a heresy to believe what is proved. With regard to matters requiring thought, the less people know and understand about them, the more positively they attempt to argue concerning them. In the sciences, the authority of thousands of opinions is not worth as much as one tiny spark of reason in an individual man. My dear Kepler, what would you say of the learned here, who, replete with the pertinacity of the asp, have steadfastly refused to cast a glance through the telescope. What shall we make of this? Shall we laugh or shall we cry? The Bible shows the way to go to heaven, not the way the heavens go. They seem to forget that the increase of known truths stimulates the investigation, establishment, and growth of the arts, not their diminution or destruction. By denying scientific principles, one may maintain any paradox. Like the video and don't forget to subscribe Classical Quotes. Thank you for watching.